Tired of seeing the same old foliage in Minecraft? Maybe you want to see some more colours and flowers. Perhaps you want to make some new flower pots that you can dye. It's always nice to have mods that improve the aesthetics in Minecraft. And so, without further ado, let's get straight into this. Hello everyone, my name is PythonGB and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. Today we're going to be taking a look at two of Pam's mods. One is called the Pam's Wee Flowers mod and the other one is called the Painter's Flower Pot mod. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to take a look at the Pam's Flowers mod. Now as you can see, we have three rows of five of new flowers and that is essentially what the Pam's Flowers mod essentially does. It adds 15 new types of flowers and foliage to the Minecraftian world. So of course you've got some more colours and you've got some more flowers to use and you can make things look really nice. So let's just go ahead and identify them all real, real quick. So we have shrubs, we have blue chrysanthemums, I'm sorry I'm bad at pronouncing things, orange wild poppies, magenta wildflowers, white roses, pink daisies, grey peonies, wild parsley blooms, purple violets, cyan wildflowers, black roses, green shrubs, dying shrubs, a fence for some reason, <laughs> blue hydrogenas or whatever that is, and of course purple violets. Okay, so you may be wanting to display these flowers in such a way that it's in a flower pot, and there is actually a way that you can do that. If we go ahead and go into survival mode, okay, and what I'm going to do is demonstrate something. As you can see right here, we've got ourselves a little display. We have a vanilla flower pot right here. And what I'm going to try and do right now is try to put a flower in the pot. So I'm actually right clicking right now and it's not putting the flower in the pot. And that's because the vanilla flower pot doesn't allow you to put the new flowers in there. So you have to go ahead and create what is called a painter's flower pot. And it has a rather peculiar way of being crafted. Instead of using bricks, it uses clay. And then you smelt the pot, which is rather, rather strange. I must admit that. Okay, so if we just go ahead and go into the crafting table to create a painter's flower pot, first of all what you need to do is make yourself an unfired painter's flower pot. And that is crafted basically with clay. So you don't need to smelt the clay to produce bricks and then use the bricks to make the pot. And then what you have to do is you have to put the unfired painter's flower pot inside a furnace, wait for it to smelt, and you should get a little rainbow looking flower pot. And it is pretty damn cool, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so. Here we go, so we have ourselves a painter's flower pot. So what we're going to do right here, is we're going to set this down right here. As you can see, there's only a couple of subtle aesthetic differences. One being that there's no bottom to this, whereas that, actually no, there is, you can see the bottom in this, and there's a little bit of sort of dirt in there, so yeah. So what you can do with this, first of all, let's just go ahead and get some dyes out. We are going to do this thing. Okay, so as you can see, we've got some basic colours. You can actually go ahead and do it with all the colours, but if you right click on the flower pot, you can dye it, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it does use up the dye so you don't get them back, obviously. But yeah, that's pretty understandable. And do you want to know something else that's pretty cool? You can actually go ahead and customise what is in the bottom of the flower pot. So instead of having dirt, you could, for example, have sand. See? you got sand. You could have maybe a grass block. So, obviously we're in a desert biome, so the grass kind of looks ugly. And you can even have gravel if you really wanted to. And obviously, just to get it out, you just click on it. It's rather simple. Okay, so if we go back into the chest, put these away, what we are going to do now is get some stone bricks and some other materials out because you can actually go ahead and change the look of the flower pot itself. Similar to the way that the dyes work, you, you can use certain blocks to change the material of the actual flower pot. So if we go ahead and use a diamond block, for example, it will turn it into a diamond block flower pot. How freaking awesome is that? That's going to be the most expensive flower pot you'll ever, ever make. And you can also make a bookshelf flower pot. Yeah, they can do that for some reason. You can make a simple wood one, stone bricks, nether rack. You can make a quartz one. You can make many, many more. But that's just an example of what you can make. It is pretty damn awesome. Okay, so the last aspect I want to show you is that of the farming. You can actually go ahead and create the seeds. So if we just go ahead and get these out, what we are quickly going to go ahead and do is find the matching things. So we have shrubs. Oh, oh maybe not. Okay, uh, it must be this one. There we go. Okay, so we've got two of them. Basically what we need to do, we need to get two of each of the flowers we've got in our hotbar at the minute. Because what you can go ahead and do, hold on a sec, there we go. What you can do is go into a crafting table, put two of these together, and it will give you a certain coloured seed. So in this case, we've got lime, we've got we've got light blue, we've got orange ones, we've got magenta ones, and we've got purple ones. And you can actually do this for all of the flowers in this pod. So what you're now going to want to do is plant them down. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? 
Okay, so we've got one of each planted. Let's go ahead and force grow them. There are no stages to growth. It's either not grown at all or it's fully grown. There, there's no sort of stages in between. So, yeah. Okay, so that one's done. That one's done. And that one's done. And, of course, you can go ahead and pick them up. Now, as you can see, it's giving you two. So, that's pretty cool. I don't know if it gives you three. I don't know if it gives you only one or two. I'm not entirely sure. But it is pretty cool, nonetheless. You can go ahead and plant the seeds down and get some flowers back. So, okay, let's do it again, shall we? So, just to bear in mind, we started off with two of each flower. Let's see how many we got now. Okay, so as you can see, we've got five of these blue flowers. We've got three of these, three of these, four of these, and four of those. So, you know, you can go ahead and make yourself some more flowers if you really wanted to. It's pretty damn cool. It really is. But that is pretty much it for these two mods. I really hope you guys enjoyed this mod spot. Like, uh, if you ever want the seed for this world it's got some really nice desert mountains it's got a forest biome this spawn and of course you've got yourself a jungle biome over there we're not doing a seed showcase but whatever the case there is a seed in the description and that is pretty much it thank you very much for watching please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want some more daily minecraft content be sure to subscribe to the channel and again if you want to follow me on facebook and twitter for the latest updates as well links are also in the description but, as always, there is a mod installation tutorial to follow, so stick around if you want to know how to install the mods. Alrighty guys, it's time for me to show you how to install Pam's mods. Now, what you're going to want to do first of all, is back up your Minecraft saves and your Minecraft directory, because if this goes wrong, there is a possibility that you might lose your worlds, and nobody wants that. As in, no, really, no one wants that, because it really does suck. Okay, so once you've done that, if you have, you can go ahead onto the Minecraft Forge page and download the most recent version of Minecraft Forge, which as of this recording is for 1.5.2 and is build 7.3 something. I want to let's have a quick look. I've actually downloaded the mods already and as you can see, there we go, Forge build 737 and I've renamed all of the mods accordingly so you guys can easily know what's going on and we will be using MC Patcher for this installation because in my opinion it's the easiest way of doing it obviously there's many other versions of doing it many other ways of doing it more to the point but I'm doing it with MC Patcher okay so if we go onto the onto the Pam's mods page this is of course linked in the description if you simply want to go ahead and click there so you don't have to search around so yeah as you can see we are at the flowers mod place and what we're going to go ahead and do is have a look around here. So as you can see, we've got the Painter's Flower Pot mod here. And if we go up to the top, you should see the link for the Flowers mod. So as you can see, 1.5.1, you want to click on Direct. So once again, it will just go ahead and bring up the download, which is absolutely amazing. And again, once again, I've downloaded them and renamed them, so they're pretty good. Okay, so what you're now going to want to do is download a fresh copy of Minecraft. So once it's loaded, what we're going to do is close it. Because we've got to do some other things before we can actually go ahead and, and play with the mods. So, yeah. Okay, Minecraft. If you're going to be all day, then I'm going to punch you in the face. In your sleep. Don't do it, man. Come on, there we go. Bloody hell. It's supposed to be like one second wait. Bloody hell. Okay, so. Once you've uh, opened Minecraft and got it working, go ahead and close it. We're going to go onto Empty Patcher. Okay, so once it's loaded, that'll be fantastic. My god. So always when you're recording, everything seems to go slow, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and untick all of these. And the only mod we're going to be installing with MC Patcher is Minecraft Forge. So let's just go ahead and quickly locate it. So Minecraft, Mod Spotlight, Pam's Flowers, and Minecraft Forge. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. And then we're going to click Patch. And then we are going to open up Minecraft again. Okay, and what this is essentially doing is setting up Minecraft Forge on Minecraft, so it can be used in many other ways. So, yeah. Alright, let's, let's not be too long here. That would be fantastic. Come on. There we go. Okay, so once again, once Minecraft loads, you're going to want to close it again, because what this has essentially done, it has installed a few folders in your Minecraft directory, which as you can see, if I just click on here, it is an app data, roaming, and Minecraft. As you can see, we've got a few new folders. So we've got mods, and what you're going to want to do is simply go ahead and move the mods into the mods folder. So you've got Pam's flower pots, and we have Pam's flowers as well. So that's fantastic. And once again, we're going to go and close this and we're going to start at Minecraft. And that would be the mods completely installed and finished. So that's fantastic. Okay, so let's just make sure that is the case. It would be rather embarrassing if it wasn't. <laughs> Alright, so let's go into creative, shall we? And let's see what's going on. Alright. We're liking this. Alright, so what we should essentially see is loads of flowers and random flowers and such. If it isn't a, uh, if it isn't a boring ass freaking... 
swampy world. Okay, that's fantastic. So yeah, as you can see, the flowers are there, they're all over the place now, and that is fantastic, and that is pretty much the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching once again. If you did enjoy the video, a thumbs up would be much appreciated, and if you could consider subscribing to the channel, that would be amazing as well. I'd be much appreciated by myself, and, well, myself only because, you know, I kind of run this, and we've got a village over there, so that's fine. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, thanks for watching, and I shall see you guys next time.